Bonjour à tous et bienvenue sur Life is Strange. Vous êtes en compagnie d'Arios et on va tout de suite reprendre la suite des aventures de Max. Previously on Life is Strange. Wow. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. <laughs> Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Oh, shit. Et maintenant, la suite. Ah bah là, ils peuvent pas dire contraire que ça influence pas du tout l'histoire. Hein. Là, t'as fait une... as vraiment une... Fait une grosse influence. Excusez-moi, j'ai un peu de mal à parler. Ah. <coughs> Ceci de gorge. Alors, nous sommes à la vache. Oh, un petit crabe. Oh, il fait bizarre, par contre. Alors... Qu'est-ce qui va encore nous arriver Des mouettes, un crâne, la plage, Square Enix. Ah, ça attaque mon épisode 4. Nous sommes proches de la fin. Voilà. Ok. Ça donnera presque envie d'y aller. Si on pouvait rentrer dans un jeu vidéo. Hop, je suis rentré. Ah, je suis à la plage. Allez, alors. Yum. Chambre noire. Chambre sombre. Technique. Oui, parce que noir c'est black. Dark c'est sombre. Pas très bon anglais, mais bon, je m'en sors comme je peux. Donc, on va peut-être savoir ce qui s'est passé. Qu'est-ce qui a influencé en fait Et bien, il y a eu mais. Bosch Bosch, c'est des baleines. Euh. Ça nous a tué quelqu'un, le baleine. Ah, oh, je m'enlève la baleine. It's. Weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so mad, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. 
Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh, yeah. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. <laughs> ah oui, là c'est vraiment... <coughs> Alors soit on peut empêcher la catastrophe, soit on un lion pour l'évacuer, ça va être un peu caca. Hein. Parce que là... Ça aurait pas dû revenir Max en fait. <rire> tu sais c'est la faute de Max. Maison bleue, c'est une maison ça. C'est un pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, mm -hmm. you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. 
But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Okay. Attends, faut que je trouve l'eau. C'est chiant, ça. Snow globes are taking over. <coughs> Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Uh, At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Voilà. Un... <rire> ah, voilà. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. So like easy to do that. <laughs> What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though, or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. That sounds not. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, donc je sais pas si vous trouvez un film. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think... Ah, <sighs> here's the DVD.
C'est un truc. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. <laughs> you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but... Being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Okay, la salle de bain. Donc, je présume que c'est ça la salle de bain. Non, c'est pas ça la salle de bain. <coughs> Max, t'es fâché, je voulais juste. Si t'es parti suite d'un temps intensifié aussi, si tu veux parler, passe-moi un coup de fil. Je t'adore, Max. Je t'adore, ma Oh là, tes copines avec Victoria C'est quoi ces liens On bout de page, j'étais en genre, je suis Là, c'est le vent de mémoire. Voilà. Voilà. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. The bathroom looks almost the same, just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. 
<rire> ah, blague. Vous êtes une seigneur du temps. Ah bah c'est ça quand on joue avec les courbes du temps. Il suffit de modifier un détail et tout change. Donc en fait ouais c'est le garage alors qu'ils ont changé. Qu ont... D'accord. There's the old Chloe. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? <laughs> I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. <laughs> oh, please. This is my tire is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Ça, ça sent le, ça sent le voyage sur le temps. <rire> ouais, je pense qu'on va aller rectifier le tien. Mais c'est OK. Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. <clears throat> Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Hello. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. The job? This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was knocked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oh, attends. Euh, ah oui, elle su suggère que tu la tues, quoi, direct. <rire> Je doute. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Bah, c'est surtout ça peut plus un peu pour ta gueule, c'est sûr. No matter what, 
Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. <laughs> Ça, je pense que c'est le choix le plus dur que tu puisses avoir à faire. Putain, les choses deviennent de plus en plus sadiques. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Ah. Il y a la tête prise pour que le pouvoir marche. Non. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. En gros, il faut que tu laisses le père avoir son accident. C'est jamais facile ce genre de choix. Oh, maintenant il est temps d'activité. D'activer tout le Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you. Genre la gamine qui a une boîte d'adulte comme tu dis, c'est limite quoi. Always have your back. Always. Pour moi, faire une vraie boîte d'enfant quoi.
tous, ces, tous les événements se sont replacés. Et voilà. On est à la case départ. Chloe, tu es vivante. Oui. Wow, wow, down, Max. Tu as un kiss et maintenant tu es tout sur moi. Je suis juste. Je suis tellement heureux que tu es ici. Tu es très bien, mais merci pour la journée de la grosse. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't. Is this all set? Not good. I can never tell you about what happened. Alors après, donc c'est bon. Alors, et voilà, là je vais vous... On va faire une fin d'épisode et je vous dis au revoir et au prochain épisode.